Ooh, he, ooh, he put one deep there. What a catch. <sighs> oh, he caught it out of bounds. Third down and eight. He was flirting with that sideline. So you got to double tap that A button. No doubt. No doubt. Man, let me see something. Seven Day could probably put this game away with the with the pick right here. But man, the Broncos are just moving the ball down the field with ease. The Fields has never had the team around him, man. Can we see oh wait. Can we see him with a true wide receiver core before we judge him, please? Alright. I'm not gonna argue that. I mean, he hasn't really had a great wide receiver core. Although, he has had a few players around him, but not not like a full team. The question is, will he ever have that before he gets traded to another team? Or he gets hurt because he runs the ball so much. I was watching the video, and I'm going to tell you, Michael Gallup is the best fundamental receiver I've ever seen. When it comes to catching the ball... You'll never see him cradle the ball. He catches it with his hands every time. That's actually impressive, given the fact he is a was he a number three? Is he the number three receiver, or number two receiver for Dallas? Number two. Michael Gallup is a good wide receiver, though. Yeah. I like that though. Fundamentals are huge. I mean, C.D. Lamb, I mean, what what specifically about C.D. Lamb makes him so special? I mean, is it his route running? Is it his ability to go up and make plays? I mean, it's got a little he bit of all of it. Route, he catches by well, but he, he's fierce after the catch. If he gets caught, if he comes down and two guys are on him when he catches it, he's still going to drag three, four, five, four yards out. Right. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn the audio on for uh, seven days. I want to hear what he's saying. No one seven day, not much. Right. What's up, Katie? Tony says Michael Gallup is a criminally underrated player. I I agree with you. What's up, Larry? Appreciate that liking that share, my man. Oh, I had I saw something earlier, a video that I thought about you. They ask a a, a, a pro to play on a local city course to see what it'd be like. Oh yeah. And he did not shoot well at all. He was like two under, three under on the towards the end of it because right? he said the greens are so everything so poorly taken care of that the ball literally acts differently. Oh, uh, I'm sure know, it like, does. Like, like, like the course was so far beneath him, and so so think about that next time you're out there playing one of those local courses like that. How crap the course probably is, and how that might affect the game. <laughs> Hey, there's Jeff. I think Jeff was literally just sitting there the whole time. I didn't even realize that. What's up, Larry? Appreciate that liking that share. Katie with the heart reaction. The heart reaction. Appreciate that. What's I good, bro? Jeff, happy yeah, uh, yeah, happy Friday for real. I told Jeff yesterday since we're not doing the uh or haven't been doing the gauntlet, the, the four of us should have a double elimination tournament for the prize money. Ooh. I'm down. It's literally just sitting in my cash app, so. We can do that. Um, else that seven day game going? Man, right now, 17 to 10, seven days up, but 28 seconds left, and the Broncos have the ball. They're running. They are down the 10-yard line with two timeouts left. Ooh, this is actually turning into a good game. Seven days looking nervous, guys. Seven days looking nervous. Me and D Breezy, 17 to 12. Oh, man, what is going on here? This is a good game, actually. Not much had to come through. I appreciate that. Sauce is going to be the first ballot. I'm calling it. Hey, we'll see. We'll see. I'd imagine he is, man. That was Shea Sharp. What a catch and run by Shea Sharp. It's going to be something underneath, man. It's going to be a quick little flip or, you know, he's going to run to the right side of the field and throw it back. Something. 
We switched to this man, which might work, but I'd get him up on my line if I was him. Ooh. He should go for two if he gets it, but okay, you can't think that far ahead, man. It's one play at a time when you're down here. He is skimpy down here. Bengals and Chiefs should be at Arrowhead 2024. You think so? My first playoff game last year, I had a five point lead, and the guy had first and goal from the eights. And we got all the way down to fourth down, and he threw it right at the goal line, and my guy swatted it down, and I started screaming. For the thought of. Ooh. I know he likes to throw it short, but he's still got to get three yards. I know. He's making me nervous, man, because he, he, cause Seven Day knew exactly where he was going with that ball. And that's pretty much what happened in your game. All he had to do was run the ball. I don't know if that's the right game or not, but I was watching one for the guy that's had to run Ooh. the ball. I think that's game. That is game. What a game. He wasted timeouts. Wow. GG's to seven day. GG's to seven day, man. What a game. That's what you have to take it, man. I ain't the best in that shit. That put him at six and three, I think. I, I do believe that puts him at six and three. I think you're absolutely right. So I'm going to switch everything over, man, so you guys can see it on the, uh, the league here, man. GG's to him. That's a great game. Great game. But I have to say, I got to say, the Broncos, man, is a really, really good player. Those dumb short passes kill him. Man, that's his, that's his style, though. What's up, Jonathan? Man, I've been here, bro. I've been here. I just, I've been, I started a new job, and I just, I got to tell you, bro, I have re-fallen in love with the eight hours of sleep concept, man. When you, when you got to be alert and ready to go first thing in the morning, it kind of, ooh, it's tough. GG's, yeah, he's six and three now, and the Broncos are four and five. That was a good game, man. I got I got to give uh, seven day credit, man. He stood up at the at the last moment he he possibly could, man. He stood he stood his ground. So as it stands right now, guys, this is the scores of this this league so far. We had a few quite a few unplayed games, man, because there was some some weird stuff going on. But we got that figured out, man. We're gonna be advancing here as soon as I get off stream. And uh, let's actually hop over real quick and see uh, see what's going on with uh, Big Jeff's game. He's got to be in the second second half by now, I'm sure. The new Mario. The new Mario. No, we're we're in the second quarter. We're about to be in the second. You're uh, you're live, right? Yeah, I'm the Lions. Big Jeff, you the Lions, man. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. No, nah, it was a fantasy, bro. All right, here we go, guys. We're gonna check it out. Let's see what Big Jeff can do. What a game. Ooh, that should have been a pick. Bro, what the fuck was that? What that should have, dude, you read that like a book. This man's passed the ball 20 fucking times. Wow, that's tough. Guys, he's playing, so Big Jeff is playing TGGD Breezy, who's also playing in, in uh, the League of Legends. He is the Panthers. I don't know. That shit was fucking wild, bro. I'm surprised you didn't get the. Uh, I'm surprised you didn't get the animation. That's actually that, that actually kind of makes my makes my heart hurt for you a little bit Is there, partner. Is the uh, stream stream frozen? No. It is on my end. Let me refresh. There we go. All right, he's got ten seconds left. I mean, shoot, man. In 10 seconds, you can get the ball down there and kick a field goal. 